I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the government of Kenya and President William Ruto, who was supposed to be with us this morning, but uh, he traveled to Europe for trade and investment tour. And as I told uh, those who were in the dinner last night, I was supposed to join him. But Ambassador Whitman somehow instigated the confiscation of my passports <laughs> so that I'm with you this morning. But I'm also here because of the tremendous work that has gone into this event, both from the Embassy of the United States, from the uh, Department of Commerce, and from AMCHAM leadership, and all of you, really, really impressive work. And, and I, I, I want to say that we are really honored and uh, we feel fortunate as a country to have this uh, big delegation. I want to assure you that you are not here by mistake and you are not here by accident. It is difficult to add to what uh, Meg has said, but also to add some few things. One is, as she has mentioned, about the political stability of this country. Progressively, now for 30 years, that Kenya has been having democratic open elections every five years with peaceful transitions without fail. Indeed, one of the very few in Africa with that kind of a record. The skill, the expertise, the enterprise, and the hard work of our people is our oil and our gold and will remain so.